Some big changes are reportedly happening over at Marvel Studios. A new rumor claims that both Quantumania and Loki writers have been removed from Avengers Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Do I think this is actually going to help improve the Marvel Studios new theatrical releases, improve these films? No, I do not. But let's get into this news and then I'll tell you why I don't think that these writers being removed from these projects really changes anything over at Marvel Studios. So back in October, it was revealed by Deadline that Loki and Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness writer Michael Waldron had been tapped by Marvel Studios to write Avengers Secret Wars. In fact, Deadline noted in March 2023 that Waldron even renewed his deal with Disney and Marvel Studios, despite CEO Bob Iger noting the poor quality of Marvel Studios' recent outings. The outlet had previously reported that Loveness would write Kang Dynasty in September 2022. Now we have a new rumor from Twitter user My Time to Shine Hello. He wrote, uh, I guess, uh, over the weekend. Uh, he said, no screenwriters will be hired for Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars until the strikes are over, but it should be Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. He then goes on and shares his opinion on why they should hire them. But uh, this is the real pertinent information here. He's asked by um, Skylar Schuler, who is a uh, scooper. I think he runs some kind of Disney-centric website. He asks, so are you saying Loveness and Waldron are off Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars? My time to shine hello responds, Yes. We had fellow scooper Casey Walsh also be asked about whether or not Loveness and Waldron would uh, be off King Dynasty Secret Wars. Walsh said, yeah, from what I have heard. It uh, shouldn't come as a surprise that Loveness is off of the project. We had scooper Jeff Snyder report back in May during an appearance on John Roca's The Hot Mike Show. He says, this is unconfirmed. My source is saying Jeff Loveness is off of the Kang Dynasty and that he fell off before the strike. Snyder was then asked what this meant, and he said, Jeff Loveness, deserved or not, got a lot of criticism for his scripts, and yes, it sounds like they're going in another direction from what my source says. So this rumor comes as we've seen Marvel Studios in decline. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania clearly lost money. The film only grossed $463.6 million worldwide. It had a production budget of $200 million, meaning it needed at least to at least make $500 million to break even. It's likely the film lost around $21.8 million on the film when you factor in the theatrical studio split. And it's not just um, films losing money. You're seeing a uh, downward trend, specifically when you look at Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. While that film likely was uh, profitable uh, to a b big degree for Marvel Studios, it grossed $844.5 million and had a production budget of $250 million. Uh, thus, its break-even was around $625 million. So it probably earned uh, around $131.7 million for Marvel Studios. However, when you compare it to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and even the original Guardians of the Galaxy, it failed to actually outperform the original Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 without even adjusting for inflation. The second film actually grossed $869 million back in 2017. And then when you look at the first film, uh, it did outperform that one. It, 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 uh, the first film only did $770.8 million. But when you do factor in inflation, uh, that film came out in 2014. It actually grossed around $995.4 million. So again, downward trend you're seeing from the original uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxies there. The first two did a lot better than the third one. Uh, and so while there appear to be a lot of changes, and this is kind of where I'm saying why I don't think these changes will really do anything. And it's not just these changes here with uh, Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty. You've had writers being replaced uh, on a number of other films, including Blade, I think uh, the, the fourth Captain America film. Uh, lots of changes happening with their future projects over at uh, Marvel Studios, especially with their theatrical releases. So there's lots of changes going on, but I don't think it really matters who's writing the scripts uh, because we had Bob Iger sit, tell... Uh, um, people at a Morgan Stanley uh, conference back in March, he, this is what he explained was going on at Marvel Studios. He says, what we have to look at at Marvel is not necessarily the volume of Marvel storytelling, but how many times we go back to the well on certain characters. Sequels tip, typically work well for us, but do you need a third or a fourth, for instance, or is it time to turn to other characters? There's nothing in any way inherently off in terms of the Marvel brand. I think we just have to look at what characters and stories we are mining. He then said, and if you look at the tra trajectory of Marvel over the next five years, you'll see a lot of newness. Now we're going to turn back to the Avengers franchise with, with a whole set of different Avengers as an example. So I really don't think that these people understand the problem that they have. They clearly realize that they have a problem. They realize that people are kind of tuning out, but they think it has more to do with the fact that um, 
uh, th there's nothing really wrong with their storytelling. It's just the amount of stories they're telling about certain characters and that they're going to fix that by bringing in new characters to tell stories about. Whereas I think the actual issue is they do have a significant problem with the storytelling. There is a significant problem with the Marvel brand. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, stories they're telling with new characters because they're telling the same stories over and over again. There's a reason why it is called the MCU for a reason. You usually have either a male character getting gender swapped in the case of Taskmaster uh, in the Black Widow film, or you have some, some kind of form of where the female, uh, female character uh, upends uh, the male character puts down the male character in order to bring up the female character or the female character is actually trying to take on the role of say a male character rather than being kind of using feminine traits and 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 female qualities to uh, uh, achieve an objective rather they're trying to do uh, the female character is trying to take on male traits male qualities to do, achieve an objective usually um, uh, usually like brute force or something like that rather than maybe using feminine wiles or something you might see uh, on that end and and I think that is probably the biggest issue that they have with Marvel. And that's why changing these writers isn't going to change anything because they're still going to be turning out the same typical t uh, type of story. They have not They have a very uh, formulaic storytelling method over there at Marvel. And those are the kind of themes, tropes you see from them. And I'm not really seeing any kind of change uh, in that, even though they're changing writers. But maybe I'll be proved wrong. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. If you want more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe for more.